Okay, I'm getting hardcore here. It's about 90 degrees. I saw somebody driving a convertible today. In the middle of the afternoon, 90 degrees, it was crazy. All right, so blaster silicone is going in my cut up little bottoms. I actually have a third one in case I need it. I'm so not done playing with what I want to find out about um, using my containers to make marks. But I think, edge catcher, I think what I really want to do, I'm going to put a little blaster in the bottom of each of these. Just one. I'm going to throw some color in there. Some color I like. Maybe some color that's different than usual. Maybe not as much of that. And I'm just going to keep adding colors like I always do. And this time I'm going to add some more white than I usually do. And if there's something left at the end, um, I've got another canvas standing by, so that may wind up being a ring pour or something similar. Who knows? Anyway, I couldn't stand it. I had to do some work out here. I've got my wet crut and curve sheets on, so I'm not going to die of heat. Got my water bottle handy. Got some great colors. Got some weird colors. <laughs> it's all going to be, yeah, not really. Okay, I need, that must be what happened to my wrist. I'm trying to unscrew too many bottle tops. I do actually, when I, when I don't have a cap for a bottle, it's a nice thing to know that they will plug up and keep the rest of the paint fresh, which is what I've learned. Keeps the rest of the paint fresh, so I'm not really going to complain about that. And the quacking crows are out and about. Let's grab some other stuff that I need to... Ooh, I remember this. That's some thick... Nasty. Need to use it up paint. <laughs> ah, so where's my favorite color? There it is. I can't do anything, anything without some of that. It's just, you can paint with what colors you want, and I'll paint with what colors I want. And there's my pink that always adds contrast, even if I always complain about it. And I'm going to see if I can't keep most of this stuff out of my way. I'm not super, super impressed with my uh, color sensibility at the moment, but that pretty much consistently changes. And I'd say some blue will do that. Keep putting my caps where I can find them. Some turquoise over here. I still have a venue I haven't got enough artwork for that has... Oh, that's kind of too similar. Okay, well, that's okay. I really wanted to use some of this other stuff here. Yeah. Squeeze some of that in there. Oh, what else? I haven't used any gold yet, and I need red. It's mostly about whatever you see on top. And I have this idea that I can use that little square butter dish. God knows where it came from. This one here. And sort of stick it right into the mix and pull out something I want to draw with. That's my idea anyway. We shall see if that works or not. I haven't used any black yet and I love to have a little black in that mix. I see it. There's no regular pink. I kind of wanted them to be a little different. I don't usually have that much luck with that, but it's worth thinking about. Oh, I have an open paint squeeze bottle there. I just found that cap, too. This is a little darker than the other, but not so much so it's easy to tell. I think I started with that green, that dark green, yes, which is very nice and contrastful. And I pulled out some colors I don't usually use. Now, all these colors are pretty much mixed by me as I go along day to day and remixed and messed with. So I'm sorry to anybody who wants my color recipe. You're pretty much on your own as far as that goes. Um, I learned my way, you'll learn your way. I think we've got plenty of color going on here now. It's almost attractive. Woohoo! Maybe a little more pink. Yeah, you can't have too much of that color. That's metallic. Most of my colors are metallic. I don't have that many that aren't anymore. Um, 
I'm just that kind of glutton. Let's see, maybe a little more of this. Yeah, a little more. Okay, now I'm getting kind of on for full, which is, a, which is a mixed blessing because I can't tip these the way I wanted, which is what brought me to today's idea to scoop something out. I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm willing to try and I'm willing to share if it works with you. And if it doesn't, I guess you won't see it. We have this discussion regularly. You've pretty much seen everything I've done so far, so I'm feeling pretty lucky about that. If I wanted to make sure of more cells, I would most likely add a little more blaster on top. What I am going to add on top is a little more black. And, whoops, there goes over. The paint goes over. A little more of that, too. And I have this blue that I did nothing with. And I don't know why. It's a pretty blue. It sat around a while. It's gotten kind of thick. Usually I would uh, go ahead and throw some Floetrol in there. But I'm feeling rather lazy at the moment. And I like to experiment with different viscosities and see what will happen. Now, rather than taking a big deep scoopful of this, I want to take a really shallow scoopful of it and see what happens and repeat. I didn't set my timer. Where is my timer? My timer is right there. Let's give us like 14 minutes because I've been talking and mixing and I want some red in there. Okay, we got like every color in the rainbow in there and I just keep adding more, but it's beautiful. So I'm not really complaining. And we will remove things little by little. And I will grab my little squeegee and shove my container out. Scrape my container out? Yeah and see what happens when I tip a few things. Now, the last time I had the idea to tip some stuff, it sort of worked and it sort of didn't. The one I wanted to work really didn't. So I know I'm out of camera range because I'm the long way right now. And I can also dip my spatula right in here. She says, hopefully, looking at mud colors, not and drop that right there. Yes, better. <laughs> almost, almost made a boo-boo. So, it's warm. If I want this to run, if I want it to run, and I want it to run with some black, this is a whole new gig. I'm gonna put this color right up next to the other, and I'm gonna use it to pull that color down, I hope. Now I know where my tubing is, it's inside, <laughs> and I don't see a straw in sight. So at some point in time, I'm going to say, I'll be back in a minute, and this is not that moment yet. This is a complete experiment. We know that. If in doubt, blow it out. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. I now have my tubing, which I needed. And I'm going to grab some pink and some red that I see on the top of this. And I'm just going to keep... What did I do with that spatula? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, fortunately, I have another one. It's probably right under the canvas or something, huh? I bet you guys know. <laughs> I bet you saw exactly what I did with it. Oh, there it is. I wiped it off. So... If I want to meld things, I just take my spatula and I tip. And if I want to roll things, I add paint color. And I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. And that. Because I like that and that. And because I see that's rolling very nicely, I am going to 
grab an edge catcher and catch an edge. And when the paint gets to the edge, I'm going to squeeze it back and forth and throw it back under the canvas and let it roll right down. I hope you can see that. Okay. I can even sort of scrape it right off if I want to. These are um, some definitely different colors than I'm used to, but this is, uh, this system is not without its charm. I'm going to throw a little more of whatever suits my fancy and pull my colors right off the top. And this time I have the correct spatula left. And I'm just going to use that to link that right up there. It's, like I said, a really hot day. So we're going to learn what happens when we uh, try and work on really hot days. Now I really like that. That's cool. Do I want it to run? Not really. I'm going to have to fill in some stuff. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I've got some really pretty red and orange and purple right there. Let's see what happens when I let it run off right there. Just tap it until it behaves. I don't know if this is going to be beautiful or not, but it's definitely fun to play with. I'm going to grab a little bit more and probably, ooh, pretty, probably a little bit more still. And maybe, yep, that's it, right there, right around the corner, literally, <laughs> right around the corner. Colors are not getting muddy yet. Happy to see that. I kind of like what's happening here. What's where's here? Yeah, there. Because there's silicone in there, I know I could just pick up and put down, pick up and put down, get some really interesting things going. I wish it would set up so that I could then tip it. But okay, back to the. Back to the where's my tool situation. There we go. I'm going to use this little... We've got some pretty patterns coming up in there. I'm not going to take too many because I don't know how that will work. We don't know how any of this is going to work. But we love to experiment. So let's just keep doing that. Use my spatula. Meld those. Oh, looks like I have a massive lump of what's usually Floetrol. No, I guess it was just a bubble. I kind of like the way that's going. I think I'm going to do some lead, some color here. See if I can do the same thing right over there. That's kind of working to a degree. It's not hurting my feelings any. I can throw a little bit more over here. I'd like to use black, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Ooh, I don't want that going over there. I don't need an edge catcher though. Oh, look at those patterns. Those patterns are just awesome. Wow. And we're not making mud. And how awesome is that? That is just exactly what I had in mind. And we're getting some cell action from the uh, silicone I sprayed in the bottom of the dish. And I know I have a bunch of white paint here. So, where's my edge catcher? There it is. Let's just uh, belligerently have some fun and take that, yeah, take that paint right down there, squeeze it back over, agitate the paint. Let it create some cells of its own. See if we can keep most of the paint on the canvas. There we go. And push it back. I'm having a good time. I don't know if you're having a good time, but I'm having a good time. The patterns are kind of cool. I guess I need to catch another edge to um, to be able to 
manipulate anything over here unless I just want to pick it up like that. And I do. Ooh, we've got that gorgeous green. Let's just pretend it's a paintbrush. Let's put some more in there. Got that dramatic black area. I'm liking that. That's cool. Let's keep on with that theme of linking things. Let's see if we can layer a few things over. Yep. Yeah, I like that idea. Linking everything up. I may regret it later when I try and fix or fill or whatever I'm going to do with my negative spaces, but for right now I'm pretty happy with what's happening here. That was a mistake, but there are no real mistakes. You just sort of got to go with the flow. I'd like this to stay pretty instead of becoming an atrocity like one of my recent pieces, but not everybody agrees with me. Somebody liked it, so that was my husband. <laughs> Let's just put that right over there. All right, so we still have plenty of room for something else and something else and st still. Oh, really? That is not my plan. I have just dipped the end. Oh my God. Okay. I dipped the end of my, uh, my surgical tubing into the paint. Clever girl. I did mention it was warm out here, right? What have I got? I've got, I like that blue color a lot. And I'm going to put it in some, I'm going to put it in some of the other. And then I'm going to use that. And I'm going to steal some paint. Not really. I'm just going to start using a second container because I see stuff I like in there. Tap, tap, tap it into place. I think we should just continue to use the white paint to lead the paint where I want it to go. And that's a cool idea. I don't want to fill in every one of my white spaces by any stretch. But we have some neat stuff going on, and I haven't given up on neat stuff going on. Oh, we got some beautiful patterns in there again. Let's grab those nice cells. Scrape out my edge. I'm not where you can see me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Now you can see me again, or my painting at least my artwork. I think I'm going to take what I've got right here and use that color because I like that color. Ooh, I didn't expect that red to come with it. That's okay. There are no mistakes. What else? i got that nice orange right there, so let's just link those right up. Tap, tap, tap. Get the paint off. Let's do some weird stuff. Let's do some really weird stuff. Let's be crazy. I have a paillette around here somewhere, and I'm just dying to suck up some color with that paillette. And just spiral it all over the place. <laughs> wow, those colors are magnificent in this container. Here, I'll just keep showing you. Wow, I love that. I'm going for shapes I like. It's it's pretty bizarre. It, it kind of makes me want to stop just because it's so organic up there. And that might actually be a pretty good idea. Um, there's just so many pretty patterns left. And I want to be able to use what I've got in my dish. And so far it's working. So I'm happy about that. It's like some really bizarre wildlife form and I'm happy that that's the case. 
And if I have enough time, I'll stand back. But it says,